Welcome to our video on flow visualization. In this video, we'll be showcasing a key Moe Engage Flows capability called Flows Visualization and how it can help you quickly troubleshoot and debug your customer journey. Now, when it comes to our Omni channel capabilities, Moe Engage has several industry first features, such as an express action, flow versioning, intelligent path optimizer that help you create delightful customer experiences. Flow visualization is another industry first feature built to help you quickly debug and improve your customer journey. With flow visualization, you get a view under the hood and get real time insights into how each customer engages with your campaigns. Uh, flow visualization allows you to shadow users as they navigate your flow, helping you trace the user's path in a flow. With this, you can really validate the performance of a published flow, understand whether flow settings and setup, such as your entry criteria, trigger events, are configured correctly and also understand drop-off points or conversion events for a specific user or cohort. This helps you really understand how your customers are engaging with your flow, identify whether there are any gaps in your flows, and identify why the engagement or conversion for a specific flow isn't as per your expectation. Using flow visualization, you can understand why a user did not enter a flow even after performing a particular trigger event, uh, after entering the flow, why a why user did not receive a campaign, and also once the user has entered a flow, understand the path the user has followed, how the user has engaged with the flow, and where the user has converted or dropped off. Let's quickly dive in and see how this works. As you can see, I have created and published a flow here, but after publishing, I realized that my flow may not be performing as expected. Either the engagements are low or conversions are low. Here is where I can leverage flow visualization to actually visualize the user trip and understand how customers are engaging with my flow and identify any gaps so that I can improve this flow. I navigate to the Visualize User Trip section. Here I can enter a user ID or a more engage ID to shadow the particular user. Say I enter a user ID as ASAP13. This is a user ID unique to, to my account. Um, once I click on Enter, I can see multiple attempts and entries here that the user has made as part of this flow. Let's quickly look at the entries first. I select entry one and I can visualize the particular entry of this user. Here I, I get, I understand that the user has tra started and ended this trip on these particular days and times and, has, and also has exited via the exit stage. I can quickly click on locate trip to understand where the user has exited the, has ended this, ended their trip as part of this flow journey. As I navigate through the flow, I, I can also see how the user has traversed uh, as part of this journey uh, highlighted in green. I can click on each stage to understand when and where the user has received the particular campaign or whether he has received the campaign. Here I can see a push, the user has received a push notification with these details and as this push campaign has been delivered successfully. I can also check the condition checks in terms of understanding what the conditional check was and whether these conditional checks have been met or not met and based on these parameters where the user has gone on as and to the next stage as part of this entry the user has gone to no has gone to this particular branch uh, because he hasn't completed the conditional check and it as part of the AV split has gone into branch one here I, I can click on the node to understand whether this campaign was received successfully by the customer I can also go on and see the next best action here. Here, this is where the user has exited the flow. And the reason for the exit would be I could click on this and understand okay, the user has not received this email as because of this issue and hence has exited the flow. Additionally, I can go in and quickly check the second entry for the user. I can click on visualize. And here I see the user has com successfully completed the, the conversion action. I can locate the trip end stage by clicking here and understand the user has done an event and has hence has exited this particular stage. Now as part of the same flow, let's visualize a, use, a user trip for a different user. I again open visualize user trip. I can enter the user ID or the more engage ID for a different user here. Click enter and here I can see the this, this particular user has entered the this particular flow twice. Uh, I select entry 2 in this case and I visualize the user trip. Here I can see the user has traversed this particular path highlighted in green. I can also locate the trip end stage where I realize he's exited the flow at this particular stage here. 
and i can sort of go into this flow and understand whether he's whether campaigns have been successfully delivered to him or not and in case they haven't what were the reasons for the failure i click in this and i realize hey this campaign has not been delivered to the user the user has not even, has not met the conditions and hence has moved on to the no branch and as part of the ab split has moved on to branch 2 at this particular date and time clicking on this stage i realized that this sms was sent successfully uh the email was not sent successfully due to this error and hence the user has exited the flow i can go into and check the user the entry one of this particular user and visualize the user trip here i understand that the user has entered and ended his journey as part of this flow on these particular dates i can locate the trip end stage as here and further identify whether he received a particular campaign I click on the stage. I realize he received a particular email. However, he's not received of has not received the push campaign, and has not received the initial push campaign as well. Now, these insights really help me understand how my flow would be performing and whether campaigns are being delivered. And I can really optimize and improve my campaign based on these insights. Let's look at attempts. attempts are where the user was considered for the flow but did not enter the flow as they failed to meet parameters set in the entry conditions for the flow this could be due to the following three reasons the user did the trigger event but was not part of the target audience the user was part of the target audience and did the primary trigger event but did not complete the secondary check within the defined time period three if the user is part of the audience completed the trigger event or the user entry limit is already met or if the user is already part of the flow in such cases these users would not enter the flow and this would count this would count as an attempt now let's look at this with an example i have published the flow flow here i can navigate to the visualize user trip section and enter the user id and toggle the user entry to view his attempts view the user's attempts or entries i can select attempt 1 click on visualize and here is where i can see that the user has met the primary and secondary entry condition is part of the target audience however the user has this particular user has not entered the flow as the user was already part of the flow and i can see the notification here which mentions that the user is yet to complete the previous entry in this flow and just this user entry was marked as an attempt well now you know how flow visualization helps to get a view under the hood and really understand how users are engaging with your flows Folks, that's all for this demo. See you in the next one.